A prisoner created the most profitable car company in the world, the story of Porsche. Porsche has a rich and interesting history. To begin with, it was born in a Germany that had just emerged from the ashes of war. And secondly, it was developed after competing companies had already established themselves in the market and had cornered every lucrative subset of the automobile industry. For close to 70 years, the word Porsche has been virtually inseparable from some of the most beautifully designed and meticulously engineered automobiles the world has ever seen. The German-engineered automobiles are the most reliable, best handling, performance-driven sports cars on the racetrack and road. Owners and aficionados believe that Porsches are winners on race day and investments that will only increase in value. Porsche not only weathered the storm, but emerged as one of the world's most admired and sought-after automakers. As the history of the Porsche Corporation shows, the more dedication one has to his work, the further he will go in his career. Porsches are famed not only for their performance, dependability, and exceptional craftsmanship, but also for the sense of power they provide when behind the wheel. Here is Ferdinand Porsche's incredible success story. Ferdinand Porsche was born in the Czech Republic in 1875 to German-speaking parents and developed an early interest and talent in mechanical work, which led him to become a mechanical apprentice in his father's shop. When Ferdinand Porsche was 18, he was directed to Bela Egger, an electrical firm in Vienna, where he worked for five years and invented the electric hub motor. Following that, he was hired by Jacob Lohner & Company, a Vienna-based producer of electric cars, where he began working alongside Jacob and Ludwig Lohner. One product of this partnership was the system Lohner Porsche, a carriage-like car powered by battery-operated electric motors and displayed at the most important automotive exhibition in the year 1900. Despite the fact that Porsche's innovation was a celebrated triumph, he worked tirelessly to reduce and eradicate the three most troubling problems that the system Lohner Porsche was experiencing. The large battery pack's weight, restricted range, and the battery life was restricted. Porsche came to the brilliant decision to replace the large battery pack with a Daimler combustion engine that served as a generator for the electric motors. Porsche's concept resulted in the development of the world's first petroleum electric hybrid vehicle. From 1906 to 1929, Ferdinand Porsche worked for many enterprises in Stuttgart, including Austro Daimler and the Daimler Motorin Gesellschaft. During this time, he was awarded a doctorate from the University of Technology in Vienna and designed numerous automobiles, including the Prince Henry Trial Model 2780. Porsche left the Daimler Motorin Gesellschaft, whose name began to change to Mercedes-Benz in 1929, to work at Steyr Automobile, but became unemployed following the Great Depression, which caused Steyr Automobile to fail. Porsche's unemployment resulted in the establishment of the historic Porsche firm, which was a consulting firm for motor and vehicle construction. Adolf Rosenberger, Dr. Anton Peek, and Ferdinand Porsche created the Porsche GmbH and began to recruit Porsche's old co-workers, as well as Porsche's son, Ferdinand Anton Ernst Porsche, better known as Ferry Porsche the one millionth gold VW Beetle. Adolf Hitler, the German dictator, proclaimed in 1933 that it was his political agenda to motorize the entire nation with the goal of every citizen owning his or her own car. Following Hitler's statement, Porsche was given the task of developing a people's car capable of transporting two adults and three children for an affordable price. The initiative resulted in the development of the economy car, the Volkswagen Beetle, which went on to become the most manufactured automobile in the world, with over 21 million units made. Ferdinand Porsche, Ferry Porsche, and Dr. Ington Peak continued to design Volkswagen automobiles in France after the war ended in 1945, where they were jailed as war criminals months later. Ferry Porsche was the only one released, while his father, Ferdinand Porsche, and Peak were in prison for nearly two years. During this time, Ferry Porsche took over the Porsche GmbH and built the Porsche 356, the first car to bear the Porsche brand. The 356 was an air-cooled four-cylinder produced entirely by hand. Do you find Ferdinand Porsche's success story inspiring? Please share your views in the comment box. And if you like this video, please leave us a like and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.